And you were lucky enough to spend the evening under the stars I tonight. Did. A piece of space history unfolded as the Mars rover Curiosity successfully landed on Mars around 7.30. That's right. And the Bishop Museum hosted a special Invasion of Mars exhibit where space enthusiasts could watch the mission unfold live. And we were there as hundreds had their eyes glued to the screen. Shout confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> Hundreds here in Hawaii were also celebrating Curiosity's successful landing on the red planet. This is a higher resolution. You see dust particles on the window. Just amazing. Uh, when I was a little kid, I saw the space shuttle take off for the first time, and it brings back the same emotions that I had then. Zero and lift off. In anticipation of NASA's risky Mars mission, the Bishop Museum invited space enthusiasts to watch the webcast of the two and a half billion dollar rover landing live. This was by far the most complicated landing on Mars yet. And we realized uh, that we were in the best place in the U.S. to see the landing because it happened at 7.30 our time. Shanahan says Curiosity is one of the largest and most complex rovers to land on Mars. And the landing means greater space exploration for the fourth planet from the sun. It's got these high-def 3D cameras that we saw the early crude but exciting pictures tonight, but imagine what Mars is going to look like in high-def 3D as this rover really gets rolling in terms of taking pictures. Today's landing of Curiosity drew out the curiosity of people of all ages, including that of 11-year-old Lily Evans. She spent her birthday this evening building a mock space rover and watched a piece of history unfold. I think it's kind of sad that people haven't landed on Mars yet. I, I think in the future we definitely will be able to because we've made it pretty far. She has an optimistic future there. Some of the reasons why this mission was so dangerous was because they lost communication with the rover briefly as it's making its way through Mars's atmosphere and the terrain on the planet is extremely rough. And they had that exhibit there mm -hmm. here at the museum to talk about why it was so rough. Well, wait a minute. Didn't Arnold Schwarzenegger land on Mars in uh, the first Total Recall? Oh, yes. <laughs> in the movie Only version. in the movies. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Cam.